welcome to day 14, week 2 of making a comic. I'm Chris, if you don't already know, and I'm currently making a comic called Nevermorrow, and this is my video diary tracking the progress, where I work at least 30 minutes a day on the piece. Very similar to the 100 days of making comics, if you've ever watched one before, uh, without the limitation of 100 days. So this pretty much will just go all the way until the book's finished, or at least the Kickstarter's uh, launched. So, it's Wednesday. Sorry, I had to think about it. Pretty busy day. Jazz and I, uh, we went down to Phillip Island for the day. And we went to the Phillip Island Chocolate Factory. I've never been, I've heard it's amazing. And essentially, it was just like a mini Willy Wonka chocolate factory. And it was freaking awesome. So, I've taken a ton of videos for you guys. So, uh, here it is. Have a look. the chocolate factory and that was pretty cool and we won five chocolate balls but we're gonna go get some lunch now yum yum bye so that was my day at the chocolate factory it was fantastic uh, we ended up going down to the beach afterwards and got some fish and chips and just had a wicked day so I was pretty beat by the end of it uh, even had to stop halfway home to get an energy drink just to make the rest of the trip uh, Phillip Island's not exactly close to where we are so uh, but it was a nice ride. it was a nice day so we've just gotten home and I'm ready to do a bit more art uh, this afternoon. I might do a bit of reading just to sort of relax a little bit first. So on to progress on the comic. Yesterday I did some more work. As I said, I was going to relay out uh, the book, uh, in a sense going backwards. And I really have. I've pretty much gone from step whatever I was up to to zero. Starting fresh. So what I did, I've got my little sort of clipboard sketchbook here. Um, this is sort of an idea I got from uh, Kevin Cross, pretty much just loaded up with a ton of paper. It actually makes it a lot easier to draw on, don't have sort of that double um, 
page spread when you're trying to draw. Like I like to draw in bed a lot, so it's nice to have something sturdy and small as well. So uh, anyway, yesterday I redid my three acts for the book just to really plant the seed of you know what's happening in the book and um, what the whole plot is and what each act in the book is going to signify. Uh, I might sort of break it up into chat, small chapters within the book as well, uh, or it might just be a continuous thing. Um, that's something that's just a small idea I had, but I think I'll just go with one continuous story. So I went from that, and then what I've done, uh, based on some stuff I've seen on the 100 Days uh, Facebook group, which uh, Ox was kind enough to re-invite me to, uh, I saw one of the artists on there, had pretty much laid out their comic in just a basic format and instead of actually thumbnailing it first they've actually written what happens on each page which I thought was really clever because it allows me to one I can actually see how the book lays out um, so here I've got page one and page two so page one is blank because it will be when you first open the book and well technically this will be page one and that says uh, spaceship waking up so that sort of that'll allow me so each uh, each page turn hopefully will have some form of cliffhanger or at least something exciting that's happening that'll make you want to read the next page. So at least in book form, it's probably not so much of a big issue because you've got the full story in your hands. Um, but if I do release it as a web comic down the track, having that sort of uh, climax point will be important to keep the reader coming in. Uh, again, something I learned from uh, Kevin Cross's videos uh, for when he did the Making Comics series. So putting all these things into uh, into action. So at the moment I'm up to page 11, which launches up to Act 2. So at this rate, I think it's probably either going to be a 20 to 30 page book. So I'm going to continue on that this afternoon once I've done a bit of reading. Uh, apart from that, uh, I haven't really done much drawing in regards to it, um, but things feeling a lot more solid now. Uh, and with this new uh, sort of layout that I'm doing, I feel a lot more confident too that my thumbnails are going to be more pronounced and it's going to make things easier when I come to the pencils. So, yeah, we'll see how that's going. But, brand new start on the book. Essentially, um, the storyline's still the same, but it's just nice to have everything written down solid that I can really look at and mess around with. Alright, so that's day 14. Technically, I suppose tomorrow we officially start week 3. Um, week 3? Yeah, it's been two weeks so far. Uh, of uh, making a comic. So, thanks for watching up to this point, guys. Uh, if you do like the videos, please share them. I'd love for other people, other, other comic artists to check them out too and uh, get some feedback and some ideas on what other people do uh, when they're creating a comic. Alright, have a good day. Catch you tomorrow. Bye.